Post-game highlights are presented by Kroger, the official grocer of your rail yard dogs. The Blue Ridge Mountains in Southwest Virginia serve as the backdrop for this President's Cup final game on a Tuesday evening in early May. A chance to achieve history in the Southern Professional Hockey League tonight lies ahead of one team, while the other side tries to stave off elimination for one more night. The fourth seeded Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs take a two games to one series lead into game four tonight against the second seeded Birmingham Bulls here at Berglund Center, with Roanoke aiming for its first ever President's Cup title. Bodily nearly got tripped around. There's no call as the blade of a stick completely changed his direction. Sardis one timer. That was just wide in the near side post. A one period down here in game four, Roanoke out shoots Birmingham 10 to two in the frame, but it's still 0-0 here at Berglund Center. Down to the near side, goal line, in it all. In it all, throws it towards Stewart. That would end up going in, he scored! Unbelievable. In it all, just trying to throw it towards the net front, and it bounces off Stewart, and into the net for the game's most improbable opening goal. 5.49 to go in the second. Roto leads in game four, one to nothing. And that's gonna be a hold and a half. Oh my goodness. Jake Papalardo, what are you doing? But Roanoke, as the horn sounds in this second period, will take a one to nothing lead to the second intermission of game four. Josh Ninnadal off the near side corner wall, somehow able to rattle it underneath Hayden Stewart. And Roanoke leads one to zero at the end of 40 minutes. Team hit back wall by Rodup, and an elbow's got jumped by Colin Tarchi in the back of the Birmingham zone. Far side corner, Colin Tarchi jumped elbow. Elbow had hit Briarly against the back wall. Briarly's gonna slash his stick up against the back wall now. There was no penalty caught on that hit. Ford and Elbow both converged. Time for this second consecutive night. Oh, he shot! Saved by Stewart! Underneath him! Sargis nearly had a chance to tap it in! 
Up to Bizzo from Albo. Bizzo dangling to the circle, shot, scored! It's the captain that wins the cup for the Real Yard Dogs! Mac Jansen! Every dog has its day. His day in this season belongs to the Dirty Dogs for Bruno. The captain, Mac Jansen, wins Roanoke its first ever President's Cup Championship. And have you ever seen a more beautiful scene in Rono hockey. A market that lost hockey for over 10 years. Brought back in 2016. They've been fighting their way up the ladder in the SPHL ever since. They got to the final last year and didn't quite have what it took. This time around, that unfinished business has been finished. Dogs, the first title in Rono Kaki since 1987. Mac Jansen lifts it. The game winning goal and the cup in his hand for the captain, and he'll get the first lap. Highlights are presented by Kroger, the official grocer of your rail yard dog. 